now for example uh, perform until ws equal to y read in file attend move y to ws post by mistake you write something that initial value is n perform until ws equal to y but you move here z okay so this is the issue the file is open it is performed in a read uh, in a loop you are reading the file but when it uh, when it has records all the records will be copied to the output file but when it does not have any record uh, it will move z to wsa when it it moves z to wsa this loop will not be satisfied it will again read the file again it okay will attend at the, again it will move z so this loop will never be satisfied and it will go to infinite loop and this program will fail so let okay us see how to fix it and to find the issue okay <clears throat> So let me dot go on the software. This program is small. If you have any sample program in your uh, with you, you can give me. I will show you. Yeah. Okay. In complex programs, how we can do. no space left in the load library No. Let us execute. So this is input file. For example, this is output file. This is the load module. Program name is D. Correct. Yeah. So if I submit, what will happen? Abandoned as 0000438. Let us see what happened this here. A logic error of neither file status nor a declarative uh, declarative was specified for DD one in the program files one DD one DD two DD one DD two It's showing files one files one. Hmm. I I I did something wrong. Load lib correct, huh? Debug. Did you want to do debug? Okay. Correct only, no? Deep work. Mm. Huh? Yeah, yeah, correct only. Which one is it picking? Uh... Uh, files one name is coming from here. Here, this one. This name comes. Mm. Suppose here it is that. 
now you have to see till which part the program is going so you have to put display statement everywhere so inside procedure division put a display statement here display program started something uh, yeah, anything huh? program started or something then variables initialized and loop started reached at the end reached not at the end okay so let us see yeah. which part it goes so now compile it first then go to spool and check program started okay okay input file opened uh, program started input file open output file open variable initialized loop started so inside perform also it goes then reach not attend reach not attend then reach not attend how many time time it is coming one time two time three four five six 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 times it is coming why because the input file has six records okay so if you check the input file, it has six records, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six times it goes to not attend. Okay. Then it goes again, goes to loop started, then goes to uh, reached attend. Goes to reached attend. Uh, display reached attend. So it went to loop started, then when six records are read, it went to attend, it displayed reached attend. Then it came back, then it started checking perform until W S equal to Y. Again, it checked loop started, but next time it did not go inside attend. It goes inside okay. attend only one time in a loop. Okay. So one okay. time it already went. It, it got the value Z for this one. Again, it uh, tried to go there, it failed, it did not go. So you can find out. So here there is an issue that the program is not going inside at 10 second time. And ideally it should go only one time because the file reaches end means it is ended. You don't need to go at attend, at attend multiple times. So it will go to okay. attend only once. So already it went once, second time it uh, wanted to go, but it failed. So you will easily find out that there is something wrong here in read in file okay. at end and here then you will see okay i have to move that but here the loop is expecting move uh, y so you can easily find out this is the error this is how you can okay. start, uh, start now this program is very small okay here you okay. can write the statement from here to here but when the program is very big how will you handle it how will you handle this statement so <clears throat> you can apply this state this state statement in um, in different different positions now, not like after every line you have to put suppose in uh, generally um, you will see in the COBOL programs in real time you will have paragraphs suppose 10 paragraphs are there initialization paragraph uh, read paragraph uh, process paragraph and this one. in each paragraph go to each paragraph and give a display statement then run the program and okay. check whether it is going to each paragraph or not if it is not going to some paragraph then you check the previous paragraph you go to the previous paragraph and put this display statement after every line in the previous paragraph then again run then you check whether it is going after every line of the previous paragraph or not if it is not going you can find out okay there is something wrong here and wherever it is not going you can find out the line but if it is going to each and every line of the paragraph but it's not going to the next paragraph then there is something wrong between that paragraph and this new paragraph in between the logic the flow there is something wrong. this way you can find out because if the program has 5,000 lines, okay. it's not possible to put this display, display, display statement like after every line. So you put in set paragraphs. Then you check. First, you need to know, you need to understand the flow of the program. Okay, first it is initializing, then it's reading, then it's processing. It is opening the file, processing the file, closing the file, or updating table in each paragraph according to the flow. Now see, 
one thing you should not you should uh, remember that in your program the paragraphs may not be that in the same sequence like while calling here it will be in the same sequence how it should work but while declaring the paragraph below it may not be in the same sequence open para may be later read para may be before open para update para may be before close para may be before and uh, initialize para may be later so it does not matter where you declare the paragraphs it ma what matters is where you are calling the paragraphs from while calling you should call in a sequence first initialize then open the uh, uh, file then open cursor for example then fetch cursor close cursor then process the, the process file then fetch uh, cursor like that then finally close the cursor then close the file like that in a same sequence then finally stop run but while declaring okay. it may be in a wrong sequence uh, different sequence so you have to first understand the flow then you put display in all the paragraphs and see whether it is going through all the and take only one record in the input file because if you take 100 records in the input file it will be difficult no how will you how many displays will you see take only one record run it and see whether it is going through all the paragraphs or not wherever it is not going to a new paragraph just before that whichever paragraph is there put display in each and every line or if the paragraph okay. is too big suppose the paragraph has 100 lines put display after every 10 15 lines and check if it is going till the last if it is not going wherever it is not going put display after every line in that part only like that after okay. five six runs you will be able to find out the exact location and what debugging tool does is with expeditor and all um, you have this breakpoint debugging line by line, line debugging this kind of options you'll have so breakpoint as in after a certain um, uh, number of lines you'll put some uh, debugging statement and when you execute that it will break the program based on the positions where you have put the pointer and it will break and you'll see whether the event lies in that zone or not line by line debugging means it debugs the program line by line so it's the tool which automatically understands the logical error inside the program but display is something which is manual you write you uh, you execute the program then you have to manually find out this is the difference but display statement is also very very effective Okay, you should know. You should know okay. tools also display because the tool is automatic. You no, know? sometimes you cannot trust the tools also. But display statement is something which you are providing, uh, yeah, and hundred percent it will detect something because Cobol program is operated line by line. Up this line, then this line, then this line. If it is not going here, then there is something wrong here. Correct? This is how you find. Yeah. It. So if you have any sample program, big program, give me. I will. Um, I will show you how to debug with display statement there.